Hello beautiful friends, this is Erica with Conscious Alchemy 1111 and Crystal Rose Insights. Here to do a special love letter from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. So we're going to take a look at where he is, what he wants her to know about where he is now in his life, where is he regarding union, what he's working on, what he's consciously thinking about her, and also the relationship with her what energy is supporting him and challenging him and what he wants her to know. Um, so that's what we're going to be looking into here in this reading. Now I am going to be doing an extended reading for those of you where this feels like it's really tuning into your dynamic and your energy and your collective energy. Um, and in that extended love letter, we're going to go into what he admires about her, what he's feeling about her, you know, consciously in his mind and in his heart, and where is his heart in his higher dimensional self, what he secretly wants her to know, what he's afraid to admit or say to her. We're going to go into why he's afraid to admit or say that to her, and what he's really looking forward to with her. And we're even going to pull a couple cards on what he feels sexually towards her. So those are going to be in the extended reading for those of you that this reading resonates for. So um, a couple quick things. My I have put up the astrological uh, love readings for 2019. Now in those readings that we go over the themes for 2019 for each sign. Those are intended for sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. So do be sure to check those here on the channel if you have not seen those yet. And... Um, the uh, and also do join me over on Instagram at Crystal Rose Insights because I do post uh, readings there that I don't do here. And there was one more thing before I get started. Um, these are intended to be timeless, so no matter when you watch my videos um, and they're resonating, that spirit's way of bringing you the message when it's intended for you. And um, because this is a general reading, not everything obviously is going to resonate. However, um, do take what does and leave the rest. Use your own discernment with any messages you get from myself or any other reader. Um, that really is the journey of coming into union with self, is trusting your own guidance over what anybody else says. So that is a super important piece to all of this. And, uh, but it is also my intention that anyone who watches this video will get at least one very, very, very important message specifically for them. So I've already connected and pre-shuffled off camera, but let's get started here. Let's see what the Divine Masculine wants his Divine Feminine to know. What is his love letter to her? So let's see where the Divine Masculine is at. And I'm not going to be reading reversals unless Spirit tells me to keep it reversed, okay? Um, in case you have some by-the-book tarot readers, I'm not. I am I do this via channeling, and the cards are a tool for me, but I'm not like a, a by-the-book reader. But just in case some of you are going to wonder about that. Okay, let's see where he's at now in his life in general. Ooh, this one is popping up. Oh, <laughs> there's the Justice card. So he's feeling really balanced. He's feeling like he's in an energy where he's he know he wants to do the right thing. He's wanting things. He knows that the like that at the end of the day the good will happen. The right thing is going to happen. But he's feeling really positive about it. Um, this could also be the card of for some of you again being a general reading. This could be where he's dealing with the legal system in some way. Um, if he's leaving a relationship or he is, um, or he's thinking about marriage potentially, um, with his divine feminine. So let's see where else he's at in his life. Let me pull three cards for that. That's sort of the overall theme for him right now. So he wants you to know that he's feeling really balanced. Okay, let's get three on where he's at. So three of pentacles, ace of wands, and six of wands. So he's been in it, in it, this is recent past current energy and what's coming in here. So he's been in an energy of, of being hard at work. 
He's been trying to be a team player. He's been trying to be somebody who's very responsible and doing his thing, um, whether that's in his life or in his career. It also can be the energy of needing some support and some help and not going at it alone. Um, so this is the recent past, but he's come into this energy of this clarity of this new Ace of Wands energy, this where he wants to go. So I'm feeling very strongly that this Justice card is more relating to the Divine Masculines that ha that are already, you know, either just recently left or leaving karmic partners, and they've got their sights set on their Divine Feminine because we're getting two cards that symbolize marriage here, and a new beginning, a passionate new start, a spiritual like the Wands are about spirituality and action and taking action. So it could be that he's been trying to get things in order in his house, his house, so to speak. But, but he's in the energy now of like pushing forward, knows what he wants, and he's going to be victorious. He's going to come out in this public, public way um, of recognize. He wants to, he wants you to recognize him. He wants you to see him. And he's bringing this laurel wreath here, which can be a symbol for um, an engagement. He's wanting to bring that to his lady. So definitely a lot of clarity here. So it does feel like this Divine Masculine is wanting you to know, Divine Feminine, that uh, marriage and stability and a start with you is really clearly on his mind right now. So let's see where he is right now regarding the union. So, I mean, it already feels like they're giving us this right now, but let's see where he is regarding the union. So Queen of Swords, so he's very clear. He's been decisive about it. He's been cutting things out of his life that haven't been serving him. He is, um, it's been, you know, kind of in the, it's kind of like the get shit done attitude of like, okay, now I know where I'm going. I don't want this. I don't want this. This doesn't serve me anymore. Let me get rid of it. Let me clear the space for my divine feminine, for the union. So he does feel like he's in an energy of truth and having made it being very decisive about wanting union, but in the process is letting go of some things that are not necessarily getting in the way, but are, are I'm getting the message cluttering his, his life. And he's wanting to, it's like, it's clear the path. It's like, no, I don't need this anymore. I don't need this anymore. This doesn't need it. Like, let me clear the path to go towards my divine feminine. So let's see. I mean... I'll ask it again. I'll ask it again, even though they've already just given it to me. But let's see what else, what's it, what he's working on in his life, besides clearing out the clutter, deciding what he wants. He's prioritizing, so he's clearing out the clutter. He's prioritizing what he wants. He's looking at his life, going, "Okay, I'm picking my priorities, and this is all." So this energy really goes together very well. So he's definitely in an energy of. Okay, I'm getting like that emoji, the, the, the emoji where they're going like, hmm, <laughs> like thinking like, okay, what do I really, what do I need to get rid of? What do I need to keep? What do I want for my emotional fulfillment as part of this process also? So let's see what he is consciously thinking about his divine feminine right now. What is he consciously thinking about her? Oh, which is coming true. He's feeling really hopeful and he feels really healed. He feels like she helps heal him in a way. She soothes him. So it's like he, he, he sees this energy of the stars aligning. He can see how life has really, um, how life has really lined up for him in a way that now makes so much more sense makes so much more sense than potentially before where it's like, oh, I can see it now. I can feel it. And it just feels like she's very soothing to him, like just energetically. He feels really, un he feels really understood. He feels really at home and at peace with her, but definitely feeling very hopeful consciously about her. Let's see what he's consciously thinking about the relationship with her. And the Seven of Wands. So he is feeling like he's got to pick his battles. He's trying, he's got a lot of things coming at him. And so he, if he's not in touch with her right now, it's like the, it's because he's trying to take care of business and get to where he's, he's choosing his battles. So if he doesn't have a lot of energy to give, it's because he's in, 
he's got to take care of some things and he's maybe having to defend himself. He's needing to stand his ground. Um, and he may just not be quite, it's like he's, he's slaying, I'm, I'm, they're saying slaying the dragons before getting his princess. He's like doing the stuff he has to do to, to get rid of things before he comes to his princess, to his divine feminine. And so other people may be coming at him, uh, with this new start. Um, again, if he has left a recent relationship, other people may be like, what are you doing? or whatever, and he might be having to deal with some loose ends relating to that, but he's definitely feeling very hopeful re regarding his Divine Feminine. That's what he's consciously thinking about her. So let's see what energy is currently supporting him. How is he being supported? So he's being supported by the Queen of Wands. She's, her confidence, the Divine Feminine's confidence is supporting him. She's also very, uh, very magnetic. So what the, ener the Divine Feminine's confidence and her energy is really, really supporting him right now. She's just hanging out. She's drawing things to her. She manifests things. She's got a good life here. And so she's kind of, I'm just seeing her. She's kind of like gazing off away. Not even, she's like, I know, I know he's coming. I know he's on his way. But her energy is really supporting him right now. So Divine Feminine, if you're feeling confident in the developments or in your life or in in your messages and your intuition about this union then he is feeling your your confidence and it's rubbing off on him in a really positive way let's see what energy is challenging him right now oh, this one wants to come out the completion energy yeah the world some chapter of his life is closing um you know, this could be also, again, if someone is divorcing or just recently divorcing or making up a, a relationship, this could be like mediation or counseling going on. Um, so he is being challenged with the completion energy, um, the ending of a chapter. So definitely, again, whether it's recent or like happening now or even if it's happened in the past, he is being challenged with the just wrapping up the loose ends, it feels like. Okay, let's see what he wants her to know. Oh my gosh, Ten of Cups, guys. He wants emotional fulfillment. He wants happiness. He wants love and, and family and children and just a happy and emotionally fulfilled life. Well, maybe not children. Not everyone wants children. But he, he wants her to know this Ten of Cups energy. Wow. All right. That's beautiful. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, I'm going to continue this reading. If this is resonating for you, I mean, this is beautiful reading. This is, this is like very clear as to where he's going um, and taking action, what he's prioritizing in his life. So if this is resonating for your circumstance, um, I'm going to go over the extended reading and we'll get into, like I said, what he admires about her, what he secretly wants her to know, what he's afraid to admit or say to her and what he's afraid, why he's afraid to and what he's really looking forward to as well as how he feels sexually towards her. So if those are things you're wanting to check out, that will be in the extended reading. The link of how to access that will be down below. It is on my website. I'm not going to be on Vimeo anymore. So um, you will be taken to my website there and with all the instructions on how to get the extended reading. And um, again, do check me out on Instagram. I'll put the link down below as well. And if you're curious about love for 2019, some more themes, then do check out my astrological readings here on this channel. Um, recorded them about 10 days ago. So in any case, I wish you guys much love and until next time. Bye.